Can you believe these are real? Discover the incredible mind of the world's most famous Leo. No, not that one. We're talking about Leonardo da Vinci, the renowned polymath of the Italian Renaissance, who is widely celebrated for his numerous inventions and innovations across various fields. While many of his designs were not constructed during his lifetime, they demonstrated his exceptional intellect and creativity. My boy's wicked smart. From the iconic Vitruvian Man to the revolutionary flying machine concepts, Leonardo da Vinci's genius knew no bounds. Learn how his meticulous attention to detail and thirst for knowledge paved the way for some of the most revolutionary ideas of his time and ours. Join us as we delve into the world of one of history's greatest inventors and unlock the secrets behind his most famous creations. The Ornithopter Leonardo da Vinci was fascinated by flight and flying machines were an integral part of most of his science inventions. One of his most famous inventions is the ornithopter, which was designed to mimic the way birds fly. He made his first real flight studies during the 1480s and there were over 200 Leonardo da Vinci inventions and drawings that explained his inventions. By around 1505, Da Vinci had collected around 20 years of theory on flight. The ornithopter flying machine was designed to be an aircraft that could fly just by flapping wings, much like a bird. Along with that, it also had a sophisticated control system. But this design lost Da Vinci's interest in its preliminary stages. No one really knows if he actually built or even attempted to fly the device if he had in fact built it. However, the design was enough to show Da Vinci's imagination power and observation skills. In his notes, he mentioned birds, bats, and kites as his inspiration for the design, and it showed. The Helicopter or Aerial Screw Though the first actual helicopter wasn't built until the 1940s, it is believed that Leonardo da Vinci's sketches from the late 15th century were the predecessor to the modern-day flying machine. Known as the helical air screw, the device was designed to compress air to obtain flight similar to today's helicopters. Da Vinci was a big proponent of the many possibilities offered by the screw shape, and he used the shape for many other inventions and designs as well. Da Vinci scrawled next to his sketches of the screw-like machine the following description. If this instrument made with a screw be well made, that is to say, made of linen of which the pores are stopped up with starch and be turned swiftly, the said screw might make it spiral in the air and it will rise high. The early renditions of Leonardo da Vinci's flying machine were part of his manuscripts which dates back to 1487 and 1490. This famous pen and ink sketch shows an outline of a flying machine, with a very similar function to modern helicopters. It is based on the design of a water screw, but instead of pushing against the water, it does the same with air. Da Vinci's helicopter measured more than 15 feet in diameter and was made from reed, linen, and wire. It was to be powered by four men standing on a central platform turning cranks to rotate the shaft. With enough rotation, Da Vinci believed the invention would lift off the ground. Unfortunately, due to weight constrictions, modern scientists do not believe that Da Vinci's invention would have been able to take flight. The Parachute Sketched during the Renaissance period, Da Vinci's notebook entry is part of the Codex Atlanticus a 12-volume set of his drawings and musings now stored at the Biblioteca Ambrosiana Library in Milan, Italy. This was one of Leonardo da Vinci's best inventions, which has even more relevance in today's time than then. The preliminary stages of the design were sketched in da Vinci's notebook in the year 1483. Da Vinci's design showed a free-hanging man grasping the bunched end of four long wooden poles spread out at the top to hold open a linen cloth in a pyramid shape. These poles were about seven meters long and were designed with the hope of allowing a man to jump from a great height without then plummeting to death or experiencing any kind of injury. The writing next to the sketch translated into English reads, if a man has a structure made out of coated cloth, 12 arms wide and 12 feet tall, he will be able to throw himself from any great height without hurting himself. The Tank Leonardo da Vinci might reasonably be described as an engineer, scientist, theorist, sculptor, or architect. 
but was he also the inventor of the tank? As one of his first fighting vehicle designs, this was a concept design that was made while da Vinci was still under the patronage of the Duke of Milan. This mainly represented a conical covered vehicle that was inspired by a turtle shell. The covering was made solely of wood and secured with metal plates, adding to the thickness. The main motive was that the conical shaped slanting plates would reflect any enemy fire. The vehicle had interior wheels for movement and holes for an array of cannons. The machine was typically powered by two huge cranks that could be functioned with the help of four immensely strong men. This vehicle also came equipped with a set of light cannons located near the perimeter. Despite its elaborate design, Da Vinci's tank has a major flaw. The powering cranks went in opposite directions. This made forward motion impossible. Scholars suggest that such a basic engineering flaw would have never escaped the detail-oriented mind of Leonardo da Vinci, and that he may have inserted the flaw intentionally. A pacifist at heart, da Vinci might have sabotaged his own design to discourage the war machine from ever being built. The Diving Suit Although it is still not clear when the precise time was when da Vinci invented this, this was by far the most progressive underwater thing Leonardo da Vinci invented at the time. While working in Venice, the water city, in 1500, da Vinci designed his scuba gear for sneak attacks on enemy ships from underwater. He spent hours making notes of the water properties such as tides, the power of the waves, and every intricate movement. He then came up with several drawings of diving apparatuses. Da Vinci's invention sketches consisted of a leather suit along with a face mask and goggles. It also had an inflatable wine skin, allowing the diver to float or sink. He used two hollow cane tubes reinforced with steel rings as breathing tubes. There are different renditions of the suit. While some show the breathing tubes leading to a pocket of air trapped near the diving bell, others showed it attached to a floating disc. Additionally, Leonardo da Vinci's scuba gear invention incorporated a pouch for the diver to be able to urinate into. Excuse me, may I go to the bathroom first? Of course you may. Thank you. Gross. The robot. Out of all of Leonardo da Vinci's inventions, this was perhaps the most ingenious and proved what kind of a visionary he really was. Da Vinci incorporated the use of pulleys, weights, and gears into his self-propelled cart invention, which many people considered the very first robot. Better known as Automa Cavalier, or the Robotic Knight, this was the first humanoid automation designed as well as constructed by anyone at the time. It is believed that da Vinci showcased this invention in a celebration that was hosted at the Court of Milan in the year of 1495. The robot could sit, stand, raise the visor, and also independently move its hands. Though a full drawing of da Vinci's robotic knight has never been recovered, fragments detailing different aspects of the knight have been found scattered throughout his notebooks. Using several different da Vinci drawings as blueprints, Roboticist Mark Rosheim built a prototype of the Robotic Knight in 2002, which was able to walk and wave. Rosheim noted how da Vinci had designed the Robotic Knight to be easily constructed without a single unnecessary part. Rosheim also used da Vinci's designs as inspiration for robots he developed for NASA. Yes, that NASA. The Machine Gun. Leonardo da Vinci's first invention of an auto-firing weapon was the best thing that had happened to the military since he joined them. It was designed to hold a number of bullets, and once fired, the rest of them would rotate around and get ready to fire again immediately. The model was also made easy to construct. However, there were a few shortcomings in Leonardo da Vinci's invention sketches. This was a rather big instrument to maneuver and would require at least two people to fire the da Vinci machine gun. Leonardo da Vinci's inventions were truly ahead of his time, showcasing his genius and innovation. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content.